Hi students, in this video we will be solving question number 10 from the exercise 10.1 of the chapter straight lines. This is a first PU syllabus. You go to playlist and look for straight lines. In that folder you will be able to find all the sums related to this chapter and all the derivations also. Go check them. Question number 10 goes like this. Find the angle between x axis and the line joining the point 3 comma minus 1 and 4 comma minus 2. They have given us two points. You join them and form a line segment. That line makes an angle with x axis. We have to find angle between that line segment and x axis. Look at the question again. The angle between x axis and this particular line segment is what we have to find. Nowhere they have specified that the angle has to be with a positive direction of x axis. Please keep that in mind. Okay, we are naming the points as A and B respectively. Let us consider the rectangular coordinate system and we are marking the points 3 comma minus 1 and, and 4 comma minus 2. I am calling those two points as A and B and join the line segments and extend that line so that it crosses x axis and we can find out the angle between the line and the x axis. Now you can see that this line makes two angles with x axis that is one with the positive direction of x axis and the other one this particular angle. This is an obtuse angle which we can clearly make out and this is an acute angle. Correct? Because this is a straight line. If this is an obtuse angle, this has to be an acute angle. So, it also makes an angle here which will be same as this angle because they are vertically opposite. Here again, this is a vertically opposite angle. These two angles are same. Now, look at the line. How is the line? Line is like this. That means angle of inclination with the positive direction of x axis is obtuse. So, slope will be negative if the line is like this. If the line were to be like this, then angle of inclination would be acute and the slope would be positive. So, keep that in mind. This sum can be solved in two different ways. Now, we are going to solve using the concept of slope. Let us find the slope of the line segment AB first. How do you find slope? We can find slope in two different ways. One is when we know two points on a particular line, we use this formula that is m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Using this formula, we can find the slope. Another way of finding the slope is knowing the angle of inclination with the positive direction of x axis. These are the two different ways. Now, we will find the slope using this formula. Okay. And I am calling this point as x1 by 1 and this as x2 y2. So, slope will be m is equal to y2 minus y1 that is minus 2 minus of minus 1 which will be minus 1 in the numerator. Denominator will be x2 minus x1, which will be 4 minus 3. So, this is 1 in the denominator. Our slope is minus 1. As I told you before, the inclination is obtuse angle. So, our slope will be negative. So, we got the negative slope. That is, the slope is minus 1. Now, when we find the angle in this method, this is the angle we are going to get. Okay. Now, we also know that slope is nothing but tan theta, correct? So, tan theta is m and we will substitute for this m as minus 1 here. So, it will be tan theta is equal to minus 1. So, when we are using this method and finding the angle of inclination, we are going to get this angle, okay? I told you there is a second method by which we can find the angle between x axis and this line segment that is tan theta is equal to modulus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 into m2 and the denominator is not 0. This formula can also be applied and we can find the angle between x axis and the line. Students comment and let me know what is this slope of x axis. I want you to comment and answer. Okay. Now we have found the slope of this line which is minus 1. You have to tell me the slope of x axis. Then Apply that here. You take this as m1 and the slope of x axis as m2 and simplify. Since it is modulus here, the value of tan theta what we get will always be positive when you solve using this formula. So, we are going to get an acute angle. That acute angle will be this. We will be getting this angle and you can always write the other angle. Correct? Because this is a straight line. You just subtract and get the other angle. So, that is a method which I want you to try at home. So, let us continue with this. Now, tan theta is equal to minus 1 and we all know 1 
is nothing but tan 45 for what angle tan theta will be equal to 1 we know that tan 45 is 1 so we can write this as tan theta is equal to minus tan 45 now we cannot equate the angles tan theta is tan 45 then we would have equated but here it is tan theta is equal to minus tan 45 we cannot equate this we have to find a obtuse angle for this because this is negative here that means if angle is in the second quadrant in second quadrant tan function is negative so we have to find an angle in the second quadrant so this is 45 and we can we write this as tan of 180 minus 45 this minus tan 45 can be written as tan of 180 minus 45 why because we already know that tan of 180 minus theta is minus tan theta correct why did we choose to write in terms of 180 only because the trigonometric function doesn't change in case if we use 90 degrees the function changes to its co-function so we shouldn't be expressing this 90 plus 45 that's why we chose to write in terms of 180 and we also know this so now we can equate tan theta is equal to tan of 180 minus 45 so we can write this as theta is equal to 180 minus 45 and theta is equal to 135 degrees we got our slope as minus 1 and see our angle is an obtuse angle now it is 135 clear if we were to use the other formula we would have got the angle as 45 degrees which is also right because x-axis makes two angles with a considered line so in that method we would have got the angle as 45 degrees here we got the angle as 135 degrees which is the angle of inclination with positive direction of x-axis so this is what we have got now now i want to specify one thing here when we have said this tan theta is equal to tan of 180 minus 45 and we wrote theta as 180 minus 45 correct when we do this it does not mean or it is absolutely wrong to cut this tan and tan gets cancelled so theta is 180 minus 45 it is absurd it is not it cannot be written like that it should not be written like that why are we equating the angle because the values are same we are equating the angles it is not a numerical value here tan is a function sin is a function cos is a function it is a trigonometric function it is not some numerical value like 2 and 2 gets cancelled it is not like that tan and tan doesn't get cancelled here it is not cancellation it is not simplification the concept here is tan theta is equal to tan of this angle the values are same so we are equating the angles it is not cancelling this or you cannot cut them off remember this it is nonsense it cannot be done okay clear since in the question they have not specified which angle you have to mention it is always better to mention the other angle also so theta is 45 if you say other angle as phi then it is phi is equal to 45 you specify that also if you still have any doubt please do mention it in the comment section